You may be seated. Welcome to Washburn University and to the 116th graduation ceremony of the Washburn University School of Law. I am Carla Pratt, Dean for the Law School, and I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. Beginning at my immediate right, they are Emily Grant, Professor and Incoming Associate Dean for Academic Affairs of the Law School. She's awesome. I'm going to ask you to hold your applause until I get through the entire platform party and then you can applaud. Terry Beck, Law School alumnus and Chair of the Washburn University Board of Regents. John Dietrich, Law School alumnus and Board of Regents member. Jalen Lowry, Law School alumna and Associate Dean for Student Affairs of the Law School. Blanche Parks, Board of Regents member. Dr. Julianne Mazacek, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Cynthia Heath, our honorary degree recipient and our speaker this evening, and Dr. Jerry Farley, president of Washburn University. I would now like to welcome our associate dean for student affairs, Dean Lowry. Thank you, Dean Pratt. Congratulations, graduates. It is my privilege to introduce to your family and friends the graduate that you elected as the president of the WSBA, um, I was supposed to spell that out, Washburn Student Bar Association for family that doesn't know. Brittany Potter was president during a very difficult year with students weary of COVID. President Potter was a strong advocate for the class and worked tirelessly to make administration and faculty aware of changes that would benefit students. Listing just a few of the achievements of her administration, there was clear communication to faculty regarding what changes would be helpful to students in the administration of remote exams. The WSBA newsletter was expanded so that the number of emails students had to wade through daily was reduced. The methods by which students could register complaints anonymously were improved. And the creation of the BODSNAP allowed students to anonymously also give compliments to fellow students for an achievement or for a special kindness to another student they had performed. Bod snap now to President Potter. President Potter, on behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to present to you this gavel and thanks for your hard work on its behalf. I am now taking it away from her so she doesn't have to lug it around all night. Good evening, graduates, deans, professors, friends, and families. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this long-awaited milestone. I'd like to begin by apologizing on behalf of myself and my classmates for ghosting everyone in our lives for the last three years. We hope to rejoin you all in society very soon, but we have one final mission to complete first, the bar exam. For the class of 2022, this is not just our commencement ceremony. It is also a reunion. After a semester and a half of practically living together in the law school, our 1L year, we set out for what we thought would be the typical week-long spring break, and we found ourselves returning from an extended break as students of Zoom School of Law. Law school and the world 
looked very different from this point forward. We knew the three years we spent in law school would be challenging. However, many of the challenges we faced these last three years, no one could have foreseen. For example, I had prepared myself for the challenges that come from being a non-traditional student with responsibilities to my spouse and my children, but I was not prepared to find myself at home attending kindergarten, seventh grade, ninth grade, and law school classes online while my husband worked his job a few feet away. I was not expecting to miss hearing Professor Bahador's stories about putting trash bags on his windows to get into the final exam zone and Professor Duncan trying to convey Black Acre to us using the alphabet soup of A to O for life and something about a life in being plus 21 years. And even though we started law school knowing our class would be the first class to officially participate in the new Third Year Anywhere program, no one expected us to also get a, a 2L year anywhere. This abrupt new reality made us all uncomfortable and brought new uncertainties into our lives. Unlike the traditional challenges of law school life, these new challenges fell on all of us together. Deans, professors, students, and support staff. It was humanizing and encouraging. We were all grieving together, learning together, and surviving together, even though we were often physically apart. In so many ways, we were fortunate to be part of the Washburn Law family during this time. I knew Washburn Law was unique from the moment I did my campus visit. Maybe it was that the first professor I met also had blue hair, or that the second professor I met was a Pokemon Go playing hot mess mom like myself. Looking back, I realize it was those things and so much more. Each of us joined this family for different reasons and from different paths, but it wasn't by chance. We are all here together at this uniquely challenging time for a reason. Some of those reasons are already apparent, and others will become apparent with time. Although this has not been the law school experience any of us were expecting, it is and will always be our experience, one we will share forever together. We found ourselves in law school at a time when the world was in crisis. Today we celebrate our accomplishment while reflecting on and acknowledging everything it took to get here. Now we have the privilege and great responsibility to go forth and advocate for change. Together we will change the world for the better. Congratulations, class of 2022. Let's show the world what this family is made of. Before we move on, I would like to take a moment to recognize the matriarch of our Washburn Law family, the amazing Dean Lowry. Through all of the chaos, stress, and uncertainty, Dean Lowry has been a much needed constant in our law school family, providing stability, compassion, and wisdom anytime it is needed. She balances the competing demands of her vital role with grace, integrity, and selflessness. Thank you for all that you do for this family. Now on behalf of the class of 2022, I have the honor of presenting the awards for the 2021-2022 William O. Douglas Outstanding Professor of the Year Outstanding Adjunct Professor of the Year, and Outstanding Staff Member of the Year. These awards are an opportunity to recognize outstanding members of our Washburn Law family and all that they contribute to our success. Each year's winners are selected by a vote of the graduating class that is held during the fall semester. This year, the 2021-2022 Professor of the Year is Professor Emily Grant. Professor Grant teaches courses in legal writing and estates and trusts. She is also the co-director of the Institute for Law Teaching and Learning. This July, Professor Grant will be assuming the role of Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. The 2021-2022 Adjunct Professor of the Year is the Honorable Sarah Warner. Judge Warner has served as an adjunct professor at Washburn Law since 2009, teaching courses in conflict of laws and appellate practice. 
Outside of the law school, Judge Warner serves on the Kansas Court of Appeals, having been appointed by Governor Laura Kelly in 2019. The 2021-2022 Staff Member of the Year is Donna McMurray. Donna McMurray, yes. <laughs> Donna McMurray joined the Washburn Law Staff in 2004 as an Administrative Secretary in the Dean's Office, later becoming an Administrative Specialist Currently, she serves as an office coordinator in the Dean Suite, providing executive assistance to the current deans, HR support for faculty, adjuncts, staff, and students, recruitment scheduling for faculty candidates, and assistance with first week events. I assure you, this is not an exhaustive list of everything Ms. McMurray does for all of us. I'll now turn things over to Dean Pratt. Congratulations again, everyone. Thank you, Brittany. It is now my privilege to introduce the chair of the Washburn Board of Regents, Terry Beck. Terry was appointed by the Shawnee County Commission to serve on the Washburn Board of Regents on July 1, 2015. He earned his Bachelor of Arts degree from Washburn in 1972 and his Juris Doctor degree from Washburn School of Law in 1975. Regent Beck practices law and manages Beck and Gunn Law Office in Topeka. He currently serves on the 3rd Judicial District Nominating Commission and in the past he has served as Director and President of the Topeka Bar Association. On the, board of the on the Board of Governors of the Kansas Association for Justice and on the Kansas Supreme Court Client Protection Fund Commission. Regent Beck has been an active member of the Sertoma organization, having served as the president or chairman of the board for several Sertoma clubs in and around Topeka and president of the Sertoma Foundation. He's also served as governor of the Kansas District Sertoma and director for Sertoma International. Honors received by Regent Beck include the Kansas Bar Association Commitment to Public Service Award, the Topeka Bar Association Honorable E. Newton Vickers Professionalism Award, and the Sertoma Lifetime Service Award. Regent Beck, would you please take the podium? One of the high privileges and great pleasures of being the chair of the Board of Regents is the awarding of honorary degrees. I've had the wonderful opportunity to learn about the careers and service of so many incredible alumni and friends of both the law school and the university. Even among the many storied individuals I've had the pleasure of meeting in my work as a regent, a few invariably stand out. Cynthia Heath is absolutely one of those standouts. She's everything we hope to instill in our Washburn graduates, an outstanding attorney imbued with a tireless devotion to service, possessing peerless energy, character, and an unwavering commitment to creating opportunity for those who follow. So it's felt odd that she did not in fact get a degree from Washburn Law, but that's something we're going to rectify today. Cynthia graduated from Washburn University with a bachelor's degree in 1971. She was a history major and gymnast and met her husband David while they were both undergraduates here. David went on to earn his Juris Doctorate from Washburn Law as one of their two daughters. While Cynthia taught social studies and coached volleyball at Topeka West after graduation. 
Eventually, after earning a master's in education from Kansas State, Cynthia changed her focus and earned a Juris Doctorate degree from Washington University in St. Louis. She went on to a distinguished career specializing in employee benefits, ultimately as the Vice President for Executive Comp Compensation at Emerson Electric Company. She's an excellent attorney, but as anyone who knows her can attest, her true passion is service. And here, it is here that she is nothing short of a force of nature. A philanthropist, community leader, and tireless volunteer, Cynthia is actively in involved in a number of causes and institutions, including Delta Gamma, the Girl Scouts of America, Action for Autism, and Washburn University School of Law, just to name a few. Here at Washburn, she has served on the Foundation Board of Trustees since 2007, including as chair from 2016 to 2018, and was a founding member and the first chair of Washburn Women's Venture Partners. She's established endowed scholarships at the university and the law school in her and her husband David's name and was absolutely instrumental in the successful completion of the fundraising campaign for the new law school building. She has previously been honored with the Lila Day Monroe Award, the Athletics Hall of Fame recognition, the History Department Clio Award, and is an honorary lifetime member of the Washburn University School of Law, Law Alumni Association and as a Washburn University Alumni Fellow. Please help me welcome to the podium Cynthia G. Heath. It's hard to speak after that introduction, but welcome to all of you who are here today to celebrate our 106 graduates who will be conferred with a Juris Doctorate or Master of Law degree from Washburn University School of Law. Congratulations to all of you and to your parents, spouses, children, significant others, and friends who are here to share this accomplishment with you. Thank you, Dean Pratt, and thank you, Terry Beck and the Washburn University Board of Regents, Dr. Farley, Dr. Mazicek, the Washburn Law Alumni Association Board of Governors, and all the associate and assistant deans and faculty in attendance. I appreciate others who are here today, especially my daughter, Ashley Heath Dietz, my sister, Pam Farrell, my best friend, Kathy Cook, and other friends, Judy Soul, Joyce Alberg, Cindy Rogers, Paul and Rita Etzel. I also want to thank Richard Ross, my friend since seventh grade and a longtime supporter of me and my family. As Dr. Farley can testify, I am so surprised to be bestowed an honorary doctorate of law from this exceptional institution. Thank you to the selection committee and the regents for this unexpected and very special recognition. I accept this recognition Oh, sorry. Reaching the pinnacle in life today seems improbable for a girl born in a coal mining town in the hills and hollers of West Virginia. Our family was at the very bottom of the economic food chain. In fact, we didn't even have the word it's economic food chain. We were just plain poor. But I was unaware of my poverty because just about everyone in town were in the same circumstances. As Jesse Jackson said in his 1988 speech to the Democratic National Convention in Atlanta when talking about his childhood, quote, I understand, wallpaper used for decoration, no, for a windbreaker, end quote. I was in similar circumstances. In our four-room house, well, really a shack, which was partially heated with coal-burning fireplaces, we had pink rose-flowered wallpaper used for insulation covering the clapboard exterior walls. Indoor plumbing was limited to the kitchen sink and everyone had outhouses. My dad worked for the railroad and as coal mining dried up, the railroad jobs did too. He used his railroad pass to go to California to look for a job but stopped in Topeka 
to visit a cousin whose husband worked at the Goodyear plant. Dad applied and got a job, and we moved to Topeka when I was 10 years old. That decision proved to be a good one for my parents and siblings. From then on, I had many wonderful educational opportunities, too many to recount today except for Washburn University, where I thrived and I met my future husband, David Heath. I accept this recognition in honor of David, a 1975 graduate of the law school. I met David in my junior year at Washburn because Richard Ross gave David my phone number. David was tall, I was not. David was funny, I was not. He was cool, I was not. Despite those differences, we fell in love right away. Like many liberal arts majors in the turbulent 60s and 70s, David saw law school as the natural next step and began law school in the fall of 1970. However, in the middle of his first year finals, he quit and did not take the last two finals. We were to be married in the spring, and I remember saying, you did what? In our family, you never quit in the middle of anything. I believe my parents forgave him for quitting, but I'm pretty sure I never did. Later, while working as an investigator for the Kansas Civil Rights Commission at a Christmas party, one of the attorneys suggested he go back to law school. So in May, he quit his job, sold his cool car, and enrolled in summer school in 1973, taking two courses, earning a B and a B plus. However, when he attempted to enroll in fall semester, the admissions office stopped him and informed him he could not return as a full-time student because his grades were too low. Following some high anxiety and confusion, David asked to meet with Dean Raymond Spring. After listening to David's plight, Dean Spring said, we will give you a second chance. That second chance changed our lives and the lives of our children. My family and I will always be grateful to Washburn Law for that second chance. When preparing for this address, I imagine how David would have communicated to you newly minted law graduates. He was the consummate lawyer with exceptional written and spoken communication skills. From memory, he would have quoted Socrates, Shakespeare, Churchill, Lincoln, and President Kennedy. His turn of a phrase and delivery would have greatly impressed you and inspired you to hone your written and spoken abilities. His ability used to use humor to prove a point would have, have endeared him to you. And his inclusion of all people, no matter their age, race, gender, or political persuasion, would have welcomed you into the fraternity of lawyers who are the advocates and defenders of our unique and precious democracy. David started his career as a personal injury attorney and evolved into a labor and employment attorney. While he had many interesting cases and difficult union negotiations, he never forgot about the unfortunate or mistreated individuals in our society. When he passed away in 2006, many people told me about all the ways he helped them with family, insurance, neighbors, work, or school issues. My path to the law was largely economic. While I enjoyed teaching high school social studies one year, the state of Kansas approved a raise of $100 per year. Um, with David's encouragement, I decided to go to law school. David took a legal job in St. Louis. I went to law school there and had both a legal and business career. And we raised our two daughters there, always providing them opportunities we did not have growing up. I hope these stories will encourage you to overcome obstacles in your life. Whether the obstacles were through no fault of your own, like being born into poverty or going through a pandemic, or obstacles you made yourselves, like, like not taking the last two exams, you can rise above them. Your Washburn Law experience taught you problem solving and written and oral communication skills, which are so valuable in the practice of law. You can run for a political office, be a judge, join boards, create new businesses, teach law, write novels, defend the underserved, inspire others to join you in your cause, 
you can just do about anything with your law degree. The law provides you maximum flexibility, which is our family's philosophy. It does not mean you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. Maximum flex flexibility means always plan for the unexpected, have alternatives to address the, uh, the unexpected, and take unexpected actions. I encourage you to continue to hone your skills, learn new skills, don't settle for what's not fair, look for other top opportunities but remain loyal to your current job while doing so, love your family, and be the best, best you can be at what you want to be. Also, be grateful and honor your Juris Doctorate degree from Washburn University School of Law a place where second chances are given and commitment to the law is rewarded. God bless you and keep you safe every day and congratulations on your well-deserved degree. Thank you. I shall read the caption for the citation. Be it known that inasmuch as honorary degrees are awarded to men and women who, because of scholarly contributions, meritorious public services, or other noteworthy achievements, have come into universal high regard, the Board of Regents of Washburn University does therefore here does therefore confer upon Cynthia Heath the degree of Doctor of Law with all of the rights, privileges, and insignia pertaining thereto. In testimony whereof this diploma is issued with the signatures of the President of Washburn and Chair of the Board of Regents of Washburn and the seal of the University affixed at Texas, <laughs> Texas, T Topeka, Kansas on this 14th day of May. 2022. Ms. Heath, for your leadership, your support of higher education, and your dedication to helping others, Washburn University co confers this honorary degree. In token thereof, we cause you to be vested with the Doctor of Law Academic Hood and grant you this diploma. Congratulations. You ready? Will the class of 2022 candidates for the Juris Doctorate degree and the Master of Law degrees please rise? <laughs> Dean Pratt. President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Juris Doctor degree and the Master of Law degree for the class of 2022. President Farley, the candidates before you and in abstentia have completed all requirements for the Juris Doctor degree or the Master of Laws degree and have been recommended by the Faculty of Law. I am pleased to present them to you now for the conferring of their degrees. Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University of Topeka, Kansas, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the degree, Juris Doctorate, or Masters of Law. 
with all of the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. As a symbol of your great accomplishments, please move your tassel to the left side at this time. Class of 2022 graduates, will you now please come forward to receive your diplomas. Honors announced at this ceremony for 2022 graduates are preliminary. We also wanted to let you know we have visiting students participating in our ceremony and earning, earning their Juris Doctorate degree from Florida Coastal, although they spent their last year here with us. Mahanad Fahad Al Radyan. Ata Adele Balker. <laughs> Leah Kidiashvili. Zachary Scott Allis. Grayson Cassius Anderson. Robert Preston Armstrong, Jr. Paige Victoria Hensel Barrett. Juan Christian Beltran. Gunta Jarde Bickerstaff. Kemper Bogle. <laughs> Jennifer Bradford. <laughs> Angelique Adelaide Brown. Connor Warden Brown. Christina Joy Brunton. Ty Conley Bushbaum.
Kayla Lynn Clark. Justin Ravine Cleveland. Brett Allen Cole, Dean's Honors. Brett Combs, Dean's Honors. Andrew Davis, summa cum laude. Makiba Franchelle Dieterville. Ravina Dami. Noah Elias Fisher, Dean's Honors. Connor Michael Flaherty, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Pauline Fox, Dean's Honors. Riley Kate Fronick, Dean's Honors. Bradley Stanford Galamba, JD MBA dual degree. Rachel Noel Gonzalez, Dean's Honors. Autumn Ashley Green. Justin Javante Griffin. Eric Edward Hageman. Samuel Jonathan Morse Hartens. Tanner Day Hewlett. Hunter Hogan, Dean's Honors. Luke Thomas Holland. Ashley Jean Hotchkiss. Kelsey Joe Howman, Dean's Honors. (laughs) 
Cynthia K. Hubner. Tyler J. Isaacson. Tristan Wayne Johnson. Albert George Kishek II. <laughs> Solomon Kojo Crow. Kate Suzanne Langworthy. Morgan Janelle Lawrence, Dean's Honors. Zoe Ann Levesque, Dean's Honors. Rachel Lundeen. <laughs> Ashley Louise McCall, cum laude. <laughs> Reagan Frederick McLeod, Dean's Honors. Lizzie McIntyre, magna cum laude. Brian Alexander McKenzie, Dean's Honors. Christopher Quinstead Moe. Jade Ashley Morgan. <laughs> Jordan Renee Morton, Dean's Honors. Du Bois Bernard Mosley. <laughs> Anna P. Mergia. Taylor Matthew Murray, cum laude. <laughs> William Elliot Woody Nager. Gustave Niemczyk. <laughs> Luis Angel Ortiz. <laughs> B. 
Bailey L. Perkins. Austin Archer Paulsgraf. Bailey Reed Fingston. Brittany Lynn Potter, Dean's Honors. Courtney Ashton Pruitt, Dean's Honors. Andrew David Pringle. Jessica Renee Quinones. John Ralston, summa cum laude. Courtney Elizabeth Riss. Elizabeth Ann Riley. Tamika Patrice Ross. <laughs> Megan Alicia Seibel. John S. Spizak, Dean's Honors. Reed Stevens. Megan Rayanna Story. JD MCJ dual degree Alicia Adriana Taylor Micah Lee Temple, cum laude. Aaron Michael Thomas. Grayson Thornburg. Brady Lane Teen, Dean's Honors. Kylie Ann Tokoy. Bryce Dalton Uhlenberg.
Dylan William Walker. Cassidy Elaine Watkins. Samantha A. Weavers. Michaela Lynn Webb. Jamie Lynn Welch, Dean's Honors. Joshua Hugh Welch, Dean's Honors. Aubrey Witten. Dayton Lillian Yarrow, magna cum laude. <laughs> Rowdy Lewis Yates. <laughs> Scott Donald Goebel. Zachary Joseph Zuhl. We also had several graduates who were unable to be here today and we honor them in absentia. John Baker, Jennifer Don Collier, Wesley Ray Delaney, Ruby Mina Denemeyer, Thomas Edward Duffy III, Jessica Louise Freeman, Summer Lynn Greenewald, Brooke Marie Younger Schlesener, Audrey W. Mackey, Jacob Bryce Mikowski, Morgan Sierra Osborne, Matthew D. Ruberson, Brandon Lee Shelley, and Noah Thomas Yoder. Graduates of the class of 2022, would you please stand? The Juris Doctor degree represents 90 academic credit hours beyond a bachelor's degree. The LLM degree represents 24 academic credit hours of advanced study in law. We are proud to welcome our graduates as alumni to the School of Law and Washburn University. On behalf of Washburn University School of Law, I wish to thank you for participating in this commencement exercise. President Farley, honored guests, and members of the audience, please join me in recognizing these impressive individuals of the graduating class of 2022 for their accomplishments by offering them a round of applause.